Please welcome from Milford, Connecticut, your 2017 Will and Modified Tour Champion, Doug Colby. Kobe has won four straight wheel and modified tour championships and five titles in the last six years. Presenting the championship trophy, please welcome Wheelan Engineering Automotive Production Manager, Rick Alexander. Phil Kerr's can't be here this evening. Uh, the elf is going to stand in for Phil. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> we all would like to thank all the officials, drivers, team owners, mechanics, team members, and sponsors of the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour for your participation and support this past season. The NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, NASCAR's first racing series, would not be possible without the support of the great racetracks that hosted a tour event in 2017. Thank you. It is my honor and privilege to officially present the 2017 NASCAR Wheelan Modified Tour Championship Trophy to five-time champion Doug Kobe. To award the champion ring, please welcome back NASCAR Executive Vice President and Chief Racing Development Officer, Steve O'Donnell. Doug, I saw you walking up and uh, your, your hand was already pretty shiny. And it, it's, uh, it's a testament to, to what you've done in this sport. And for those of you who don't know, I think you've heard the Wheel and Modified Series, uh, our oldest series, but probably the most passionate fan base, the most passionate people involved in the sport and the most passionate drivers. And that's why we're incredibly proud to have Doug represent us uh, with this championship. We had a tough year this year, obviously, with, with the loss of, of Teddy. But I think as you look back and you look at the series of who can represent the sport the best, it's where legends are made and what Doug's done with four championships in a row. You heard him talk about just concentrating on the present. Um, but I think it's fitting that we're here in the Hall of Fame. With, with five championships, you're well on your way to an historic career. And we're incredibly proud to have you as our champion. On behalf of NASCAR and the France family, I want to present you with your fifth championship ring. It doesn't fit on the thumb, so sorry. I have to get it resized. Um, I'm going to go in a little different direction here. I have a little analogy to start my speech with. It was 28 to 3 late in the third quarter of the Super Bowl last season before we all witnessed one of the most exciting finishes and arguably the greatest comeback in the history of sports. The Patriots looked, I'm from New England, and the Patriots looked awful for most of the game. My sister's a huge fan, and man, she was pissed. They were about to get blown out by the Falcons, and they were completely written off after halftime. All of the anyone but the Patriots fans, you guys, there's probably about 400 of you in this room tonight. You guys were all in your glory watching them lose. Well, in the final quarter of that game and overtime, something magical happened. A few good calls by Bill Belichick, a few big plays by Tom Brady, a couple untimely mistakes by the Falcons, and they came out really close really quick. And when the Pats tied it with 20 at 28 at the end of regulation and sent that game into overtime, you guys all just knew what was going to happen next, and it did. Final score, Pats win by six points and a fifth championship. Now, I am not Tom Brady, for sure, and Phil Moran is not Bill Belichick. <laughs> and we may not have engineered the greatest comeback in the history of sports, but you guys have to understand what our team did this season was so improbable, and I can't begin to explain how incredibly proud I am of everybody over here at MS3 Racing for winning our fourth straight championship in the most difficult series in NASCAR as far as I'm concerned. Consider this, two races into our season, we were already 46 points back of the lead. And just like the Patriots, we were written off. Six races into the season, we were still 54 points out of the lead. And all the anyone but the two team fans were cheering loudly. 
After the race at Langley, I predicted it was going to be a long season, and it was. Over the next seven races, we reeled off six top four finishes in a row. We snuck into the points lead late in the game, and everybody seemingly knew what was about to happen next, and it did. Final score, we win by six points and our fifth championship, just like the Patriots. <laughs> to my crew sitting over here, Phil, uh, Bob, Johnny, Timmy Tyre, Alex, Deb, Josh, Timmy Alby, Timmy Tire Changer, that's what we call you now, right? Pat, Carlene, BB, who couldn't be here tonight, and Wayno. I told you guys this last year. We are the team that everybody loves to hate, and we're the team everybody loves to see lose. Kind of like the Patriots. But this year, more than ever, we learned as a team how to overcome all of our own struggles, some self inflicted, mostly by the driver. And we found a way to win in overtime. And we showed everybody once again what a team of, team of champions you guys truly are. I want to thank you guys for a magical season, and I've never gotten to do this before, but I'd like everybody on my crew to please stand up and have your own round of applause for winning four straight championships. It's just an amazing feat, and you guys deserve it, so I want you to stand up and have everybody see who the crew guys are on my team. You hear them every year, but now you can actually see them, so that's, that's a good thing, right? Uh, Mike Smerglio, my car owner. I don't know what to say to you other than just thank you for being you. Uh, you're so unique and so different, and you know you give us the best equipment, but you treat us like family, and you cheerlead for us every week, whether we win or lose. Car owner trophy or not this year, you are the epitome of what a champion car owner is. You embody the spirit of a champion, and I'm really looking forward to chasing five next year with you. I want to thank my parents, uh, the rest of my family, my sister and, and brother-in-law couldn't be here tonight. Uh, all of our friends who support us every week. Uh, got a lot of new people I bring to the races, and, and they just love racing. We bring in new people in. Um, all the crew members, families here here tonight who put up with the long hours at the shop, at the track, and away from home, at the track and away from home, and uh, also these annual trips that I tend to bring you guys on in December just before Christmas. Thank you guys for that. I want to thank NASCAR, Jimmy Wilson, wherever you are, uh, all the NASCAR officials, Hoosier, Sunoco, Wheelan Engineering, and of course, Phil Kurz, who couldn't be here tonight, and we're really looking forward to getting Phil, at the back next, Phil, Phil back at the track next season. Along with Phil's absence, this was a very difficult season for the modified family and really everybody in New England. And I really feel compelled to further acknowledge the passing of track photographer Howie Hodge and, of course, Ted Christopher, uh, two amazing people who are sadly no longer with us. And I feel like they deserve a, more than uh, just a quick name on a screen because they were really great. Um, Howie was a true gentleman and a friend to everybody in the pit area. Uh, and Ted, <laughs> Ted was the ultimate short track racer and, in my opinion, the best of our generation. Um, I'm a better driver because of Ted, and I'm a better person because of Howie. And they're both greatly missed by me and everybody in the modified community. But if you're sitting in this room tonight and you don't know who Ted Christopher was, if you're a young driver here who never felt the wrath of Teddy on your back bumper, um, do yourselves a favor before you leave this weekend. Take your cell phone out and Google Ted and uh, just learn uh, about him because he was the king and he was the best of all of us. There are many sponsors. Thank you. They deserve it. The sponsors that I need to thank for helping us succeed this year. This year, we welcome the brand new sponsor, Mayhew Tools. And I can't say enough good things about John Lawless and Gail Thompson and all the uh, Mayhew uh, employees and sales reps that we've met throughout the year. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride, for taking us out to the SEMA show in Vegas. And we're really looking forward to our second season together in 2018. Thank you, Doug Dunleavy, for always supporting the two team forever. And also to Bob Bruno Engine Research, David Lewis and Robert Yates Racing Engines, LFR Chassis, Fox Shocks, Willwood Brakes, a and Romano Construction, Brown & Miller Racing Solutions, and all of our other product sponsors. Lastly, you know, this was a split championship this season, and I feel it's important to acknowledge the uh, six teams sitting over here. Um, I want to 
thank Heather Priest for choosing the perfect date for your and Ryan's wedding this year. For those of you who don't know, they race, uh, they got married on a, the Langley race weekend, so Ryan wasn't able to be there. And I also want to thank all of our new friends over at Joe Gibbs Racing for further contributing to our championship effort this season. They took Ryan away again for another race, so it helped. Ryan, uh, you know, we've been battling for championships since 2012, and we have some very well-documented run-ins. They didn't make, the screen, didn't make the screen this year, but we'll certainly both hashtag never forget. I don't think either of our teams thought we would be sharing a championship this season, um, but you guys had a phenomenal year. Uh, everybody on the sixth team, you did a great job. You're a heck of a driver, and everybody from the Modifieds, myself included, we're really proud of what you're doing uh, with the Xfinity ride. You're really showing everybody that modified drivers can get the job done, and uh, if I can't be the one representing us, you're certainly the best candidate to do it, and I wish you a, a lot of luck next season. Uh, you've earned it, really, buddy. That's it. I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy holiday season. Uh, I'm hoping to see you guys here next year as we chase five in a row, and uh, everybody have a great off season. Thank you.